Hi everyone, are you also looking for an offshore web hosting company to buy performance ready VPS and dedicated servers? If yes, worry not, I have found something great for you. It is perfect quality web hosting, yes, PQ hosting. So today I am going to talk about PQ hosting in detail and show you pricing plans, order process, top up options, control panel options, how to get support and setting up your website on PQ Hosting VPS, upgrading your VPS and installing WordPress on a cyber panel and my honest feedback on PQ Hosting. So let's go ahead and first talk about PQ Hosting. PQ Hosting is a web hosting provider that offers high quality hosting servers to businesses of all sizes. The company prides itself on delivering exceptional services and constantly strives for perfection. So, let's check the website of PQ Hosting. Their main website is in Russian language. However, they have English, German, Spanish and French website as well. As you can see, the VPS or VDS are available in so many locations. I will choose Netherlands and it opens up the pricing plans named Aluminium, Argentum, Ruthenium and so on. The basic server will have 1 GB of RAM, 15 GB of NVMe and will cost just 4.77 euros per month which is almost 5 USD. However, I will recommend you to buy at least Argentum server. It will have 2 GB of RAM and 30 GB of NVMe storage and will cost just 5.27 euros per month. It is uh, double the resources that you are getting in the basic server but not a huge jump in terms of pricing so it's a great deal and we can now go ahead and choose this with one month duration i will however mention that if you choose uh, to increase the payment cycle like um, three months six months or 12 months you will get more discount so simply sign up using your email password and accept the terms of use privacy policy and refund policy you can also open the refund policy page and check it properly before buying it. As far as I have checked it, there's nothing to worry about, right? Uh, next up, you have the option to choose payment cycle and configure the server. You can also choose to disable the auto renewal feature if you want. So this is one of the unique feature uh, that it lets you use, right? Then you need to type a domain name choose the operating system Ubuntu, CentOS, Debian or the one you want from the available options then choose the pre-installed software you want on your server and then the most important part of configuring the server is choosing the control panel while there are so many options you can choose from my personal favorite is cyber panel most control panel option that it get, uh, gives you uh, are free so you don't have to pay for a control panel if you're buying a web hosting server from pq hosting this is one of the best uh, feature they have right now right and cyber panel now has apache with nginx reverse proxy for ubuntu 22.04 and it does not cost any money for the license right so this is the best deal if you buy a server you get cyber panel pre-installed on it and now you can use it to host multiple websites on a single server when you add it to your cart you need to make the payment now but let me show you uh, one cool feature also you can also top up using crypto uh, payments and buy server from it it will show you by top i will show you by topping up 15 usd here once you complete the payment from your side it may take a little longer to confirm the crypto payments as it does usually and once done you will see payment confirmed screen like this now i will go ahead now i will go ahead and redo the server configuration and proceed to payment as you can see i can now pay using my account balance and now this time the payment will be very quick right once paid i can see this server in activation progress status and again a 
wait of just a few minutes and the server is activated now it shows active status right so now from this option you can also manually renew your server if you want anytime right and then you also have option to you know um, choose uh, instruction this you will get on your email also this uh, document will have all the information regarding your servers information then how to log into vm manager and everything uh, you can log into vm manager using this quick link as well this will make you auto log into your vnc manager and from here you can do a lot of actions like stop server restart server reinstall os and so many things right and this is also useful when you are uh, in a trouble and want to you know enter into uh, the recovery mode it is very useful at that time and it also shows you um, like the usage and monitoring also like how much cpu is in use right now how many ram is in use right and then you can also see uh, the cyber panel details basically the cyber panel will be installed and the login will be very common admin and the default password but uh, i was not actually able to you know log into my server so i raised this ticket and they mentioned that uh, there was some problem while installing the cyber panel um, at the time of setup and that's how uh, they solved this they reinstalled the cyber panel and gave me another login credentials for my cyber panel account so now i can now uh, log in to the cyber panel with this details i have already logged in but now i will change modify the user details so that um, this password is changed for the security reasons every time you get a uh, get a password from anyone or any default password or something make sure you change it with something more secure so i'm showing you this password because um, this is the part of uh, uh, review so i will delete this server later on but yes i was really impressed with the support quality they did the reinstallation of cyber panel for me and i didn't find any uh, much uh, you know inconvenience during this process next if you want to upgrade your server you can do that by change tariff option like this choose the plan and then uh, it will show you the current tariff and uh, the new tariff plan and it will also show you everything so you can also check on the pricing plans uh, page and you can see the new price is of ruthenium server you can choose from all other options as well check out their uh, resources limitations and everything and choose on uh, go to add to cart or you can directly finish also once you click on finish uh, the server tariff plan will be changed automatically and instantly you just need to click on reboot and uh, if you just want to confirm whether the server has been upgraded to the new uh, limits or not you can do that by you know logging into your server and using a few commands to check how many uh, CPUs are there and how much RAM is installed on your server so let me show you that it is currently in reboot now as you can see um, I can log into my server using the root user and the information is in the instruction page and from here I can copy this username password and log into my server in my terminal app so guys i have now logged into my server as you can see in my terminal app and as per the ruthenium plan i need two core cpu and 4 gb of ram right so by using this command df dash h i can see that there is 50 gb of nvme storage which is uh, correct as per ruthenium plan so um it works pretty fine and i can now be sure that um my server is going to work pretty good and uh, add the website to cyber panel you need to make sure that this uh, website has the server's ip address in the dns records and uh, since it is taking time to propagate the ip address uh, all over the world i will you know edit my host file on my local pc 
and put the IP address in the host file and then press tab and type the domain name and save it. And now when I will open the website in my local browser, it will open on the uh, said IP server IP. Okay. So now I will go to websites, list websites and then click on create website. Now you can choose default package, select default owner, type the domain name, type any email address you have. Then you can choose the PHP version, choose SSL. You can also choose Apache as reverse proxy. This is a beta, which is only available for Ubuntu 22. So then choose DKM support OpenBSD and click on create website. It is giving me error message blacklisted domain. So I'll go back. And uh, the reason why I'm getting this error is that the domain is uh, the server's host name. So basically, uh, this is something that is not allowed by Cyberman. If uh, your server's host name is the domain name, then you need to edit it, right? So I have edited it from uh, PQ hosting panel, but it doesn't happen actually because you have to do this while creating the server. So make sure when you create the server, do not type the domain name. Uh, in the host name or server name type a different name of the server only okay and uh, to do this properly you need to change the host name of the server and to do that I will have to go to the terminal and edit it manually in the terminal app or you can use putty on windows server so I did it but doesn't work because I have to actually edit the host name right so how I will do that log into your server using uh, terminal app and type this command hostname you will see this domain is still there as a hostname now you need to change the hostname using um, the command I am going to use I will show you how I do it type nano etc slash hostname but you wouldn't be able to save it so you need to do it with sudo permissions so sudo nano etc hostname and now you can edit uh, the server hostname using uh, your normal editor and then control x y enter and that will save your uh, hostname and now you need to reboot so now i will again uh, check uh, if the server is active or not now you can see the server is active now i will re-log in uh, into terminal and show you uh, if this is changed or not now you can see the server's hostname has been changed now i can you know re reload my cyber panel and i will go ahead and you know use the same process to create add the website right type the email choose php version choose ssl apache dkim and open bsdr and then when you will click on create website it will start the real process of creating the website setting up ssl setting up apache and everything so this is the um, process how you can set up um, a website on pq hosting cyber panel vps server so since you can see i got uh, the cyber panel installed with the server setup which is very good thing about um, pq hosting that you don't have to hire uh, a VPS person who can install the cyber panel for you they will do that for you without any extra cost and that too with the server setup since it is a very uh, time taking process so I have to you know uh, speed up this process in the editing software so you can quickly jump to the real part so as you can see um, that website is being installed and now you can see when I open the website it says server panel installed so now you can you know go to your websites list and edit with the file manager go to public html index.html edit it and now you can change this thing if you have uh, a plan of you know launching a html based website you can you know simply upload all your html files and folders over uh, in the public html folder and it will show up as you will edit it right so you can see i am 
uh, making some edits in the default uh, you know index.html file and make sure uh, that it works properly i will reload it and it, you can see i typed test site and now it is visible so next thing uh, here is you can explore um, the cyber panel if you have not done already or you can directly install wordpress on this and start a full fledged website dynamic website on this server so i will install wordpress with a default um, login credentials or all for now so as you can see you just need to type title username password email and keep the path blank and click on install so it takes a little bit of time uh, just like it did while creating the domain in the inside the cyber panel so now uh, just wait for a while and it will be installed so uh, the process is a very uh, quick process usually it doesn't take more than a minute or two and once the configuration of the installation and the ls cache plugin is done you will see the success message which looks something like this so it says installation successful you can visit the website and it will open the default uh, wordpress page so now you can you know go ahead log in to your wp admin using the login credentials you put you know, while creating the you know, website and now you can you know install plugins install theme and launch your website with all the features and full root access to your server wordpress and everything so this was it from my side about pq hosting review if you liked my video please hit the like button and if you learned something new please hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day bye bye